Hello, welcome to another unboxing. Today we're going to unbox what I'm hoping is the first retail unboxing for the GPD G1. So the GPD G1 is an external graphics dock. It's basically a graphics card that you can plug into almost any machine. Uh, the reason why I have um, my handheld here in the background, this is an Ionia 2, the highest tier that they offered at the time, two terabytes, 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, the reason I have this here is because I won't be using the GPD with uh, G1 with one of the uh, GPD handhelds. I'm gonna be using it with the Ionia 2. It supposedly has really great performance over USB 4. Uh, of course, the Oculink port would make it even better. I have been considering getting a GPD uh, Win 4, but I, I don't want to spend the money on it just yet. We'll, we'll see how this goes. So anyway, I have a box here. I didn't open it yet. Uh, just got it. Today is Sunday. So I know I'm a little late sometimes uploading these videos. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I'll upload this today. Because this is pretty exciting. Uh, so far, we have seen uh, lots of videos, like from one of my favorite channels, ETA Prime, uh, doing lots of testing. And I also will be doing testing, but those, to my knowledge, are all pre production units. They're not retail versions. So, this will be the retail version. I found a new video the other day that uh, talked about the fan noise. Fan noise was a big deal. It was the first one. The video was only uploaded like 13 days ago. I don't know if it would have stopped me from pre-ordering uh, or Indiegogo contributing. But definitely uh, hampered my excitement a little bit. Uh, so... I got the version that comes with an uh, Oculink cable. I thought it didn't come with one. I thought it just came with the adapter. Yeah, I bought the version. Uh, my contribution was the version that comes with the M. I believe it's the M.2 adapter. So anyway, uh, we are looking at box here. <clears throat> I've been using the Ionia 2 daily, uh, or work days at least, uh, when it's slow at work or the, I have the night shift, uh, it's nice to just plug in and actually use it as a regular computer. It's very snappy, it's, it's really good. But of course, as you know, um, it's using integrated Radeon graphics, so... Which is pretty good, the 6800U. That's the 6800U model. Um, 680M is the GPU. But of course, that doesn't have, you know, anything remotely close to desktop-like performance. At least not for anything recently. So, this graphic stock is what will be uh, our savior here. Because I'm not, I'm not a laptop fan anymore. Uh, the noise, uh, even the handheld, to be honest, is probably more than I need. I just, I can't stand the noise, having a keyboard, all these things that I'm not going to need. I don't need that at work. I have a monitor, I have a keyboard, uh, a, a mouse, you know, I don't, I don't need all of that. Anyway. So, there's the dock. It is just as nice as they said it was in um, the, the other videos. Um, it is very solid construction. Obviously metal uh, there. Damn, it's, <laughs> it's so dense feeling. And I mean, why not? You know, it's, it's a whole ass graphics card. Um... So it's got it's got a lot of ports. Uh, one of 
the videos I saw, they didn't like the idea of it being in the front. I think that's going to be perfect for, for my use case and a lot of other people's use cases. Not everybody's going to be having this plugged into the TV. A lot of people are going to have it on a desk back with the monitor. And then their keyboard and mouse are going to be here. The unit might be, you know, uh, a little closer to you. And you're going to have it plug in, a wire here. And like someone else mentioned, a lot of... The good Thunderbolt or USB 4 cables are not that long. So anyway, uh, that's that's the dock. We, we looked at the dock. And we're going to see what else comes in the retail packaging. Uh, judging from what I can see, it looks like it should be everything that comes with... Okay, there's nothing else in here. It should be everything that comes in the pre-release version that we have seen... Um, that we have seen on other videos, like EDA Prime. So we're gonna see, this looks like power cable, standard, uh, what do you call this, three barrel, triple barrel, uh, power connector, um, the power unit, it, or power adapter brick is built into this, which is something I think is just awesome. I think more manufacturers should make products like that. Because we've, re we've reached the point, especially using if you're using the, uh, I think it's gallium nitride, uh, manufacturing, um, you can make the power slim. Why not? You know, it it's much more cumbersome. It's much better to make a product. Well, I guess maybe it just doesn't advertise in, you know, that well, but it's it's much nicer in my opinion and probably a lot of other people's like in terms of actual usability it's just better to have um it built into the product all right looks like this is a usb4 cable uh i probably will need to download new drivers to um to get it to work on this we're we're gonna plug it in i'm not gonna do benchmark testing on this video that will be another video just like i did with the i you know uh, but we are we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna give it a shot uh, Just to see if it works right out the gate, of course, you know, uh, obviously you'll get significantly well, not significantly, but you'll get less performance This is a tiny little Black dot Or plug or pin connector. It looks like something you'd stick into a reset hole to be honest. I don't see where that would go here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. And, oh, and this is the connector I mentioned. Uh, the Oculink. This goes into, I believe, an M.2 port. And, uh, you know, let me, let me just take this out to get it. This goes into an M.2 port on your motherboard or even uh, a laptop uh, motherboard. And okay, it lets you plug in a Oculink cable, uh, this cable over here, and let you plug it into the dock. And then you'll have a working graphics card over... I believe it's an X4 PCI Express uh, slot. This port, from what I've read, is actually uh, something that was used for servers. Uh, a lot of servers are rack mounted. They don't have the space for graphics card or other PCI uh, Express peripherals. Uh, so it's just easier for them to just be able to plug in a cable and get actual PCI Express speeds um, and compatibility. There's no overhead of additional protocols running there. It's just it's it's real PCI Express to my knowledge. So that's why this is cool. That's why you can use it on unsupported devices as long as it has a PCI Express M.2 port. Uh, okay, so that's that. Is that anything else here? Well, no, it looks like there's a manual of some kind, or a quick start guide, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see, is it in English? 
that doesn't look too great. Oh, we do have some English here. We go connecting, please turn off computer, connect one end, turn blue. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to shut down. And uh, we're going to plug it in using USB for cable. Uh, we do have to download this driver. Oh, they're recommending uh, this driver from here. But you see, the thing is, I don't know if this is specific. A lot of um, instructions seem to be more specific about using it with the GPD Win 4 or GPD devices that have Oculink port built in. So, um, I guess, wait, but, so should I have installed it, the driver before shutting it down? Why was shutting it down the first instruction? Oh, no. All right, okay. They, they said no. They said you do that after plugging in and powering it on. So we're going to do that. We're going to follow the instructions verbatim. Sorry for my head getting in the way there. Uh, do not run any computer electronics that require cooling on a bed like I am about to do. Uh, we won't be doing this very long. And I don't, I'm not blocking any vents. But of course... Blocking vents can be very bad for your electronics, uh, like laptops and stuff. So don't do that. This, yeah. Oh, I love how it's. Oh wow, this is an excellent cable they give you here. This is full USB-C, um, four. Forty gigabits. Uh, it says it right there, and two hundred and forty watt support. I don't know if the dock is doing 240 watts. Uh, it most likely is like 100 watts um, power delivery. But I do not, uh, unfortunately, I don't remember the exact spec. Because, you know, but I, I just remember it being more than enough for what the, um, you know, we're going to plug it into the bottom. That is something super cool that we have a choice with. All right, so I am going to, oh, I forgot to turn it on. Yeah. They said to turn it on. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm going to install the driver. Uh, I'm just gonna, I will be right back.